your man is as good as you say he is, have him make an example of Johnny. Perhaps the 100,000 will go to him and you. Congratulations, Johnny. You've earned this. They work for me! This ain't your fight. Stay out of it. No. I'm El Jefe, but those guys just want to be Rick. Then you shouldn't have a problem putting a match together between Big Rick and Puma. A ball heights street fight. Anything goes. One of the street fights is exactly what he's getting. The crucifixion of Puma. Be careful what you ask for. That's Johnny Mundo! The alliance between Puma and Johnny Mundo has formed over the past few weeks. And you have to believe that Mundo saved Puma. Oh! Mistake, an accident, Matt? It had to be. Conan, La Raza, and Mexico, they found out about Blue Demon. What you did to Mascarita. They're coming, Vito. My family is number one. Oh! I'm going to end with the dynasty Guerrero. Congratulations, Big Rick. You have officially signed a big money contract to work exclusively for Dario Cueto and Lucha Underground. I want that bonus in cash. Of course, you're a star and you will be treated as one. When I invited Johnny Mundo to Lucha Underground, I wanted to use him as an example that no matter the talent, the reputation, the flash, no one is safe for everyone on notice. Because violence is my favorite kind of entertainment. I'm with you. Things are about to get a whole lot more entertaining. Their call. And his 
Well, the Exotico culture is so important in Mexico, and now Pimpanela Escalante brings a unique brand of entertainment here to the States, here to Lucha Underground. Let me tell you something, Matt. Back in the 1940s and 50s, when Gorgeous George was one of the first people to come out with this kind of personaje or this gimmick in the pro wrestling business, Pimpinella is responsible since the early 80s as bringing a revival with the bathing suits, the tights, the makeup, and the dancing. Yeah, if you know your history, of course, then you know there have been many flamboyant stars with effeminate tendencies. Gorgeous George, Adrian Street, Ricky Starr, The Miz, any way you look at it, Pimpinella it just loves life. Oh. Son of Havoc doesn't seem to be a fan, but I, I, I admire what Pimpanella brings. Celebrate individuality, man, woman, or child. Oh, oh can oh, resist oh. a good time. Uh oh, brother, look at this. Oh my God. Oh, oh. crushing Evelyn. Oh. <laughs> Listen, the Son of Havoc is a very angry, close-minded, kind of backwards justice mentality kind of guy. I don't think Son of Havoc takes too kindly to Pimpanella's uh, ways. No, but he's got that, that deliverance look about him. Yeah, I don't think they have people like Pimpanella in Wisconsin, and if they do, they're usually found on Craigslist. Dude, I've never been there, so... Big flying forearm with authority. Wow. Boom. Oh. And the crowd is calling for a signature move. Calling for the kiss. Uh oh. And now Liza on the move, up and over. No. Son of Havoc in, shoulder block to the gut. Pimpanella now ascending the ropes. And what wow. comes up, must come down. Well versed in the Lucha style, Pimpanella. Now, let me ask you, is the androgyny part of some type of master psychological ploy to confuse opponents? Wow! Oh, Ooh. Jesus. Toss it to the corner. Don't forget about what reason you're here, brother. It's all fun and games, but you're here to win a match. Cover, referee Rick Knox is down. One, two, no, the match goes on. You know, take it seriously. It's combat. Pimpinello wise to keep his shoulders off the mat. Havoc now, knife edge chop. He's punching him in the back. He's hitting him in the neck. He's chopping him. Brother, he's, he's, he doesn't oh, care. Look at that, using the ring as well as the calf as a, as a weapon here. And keep your eyes, Eva Lee's. He's, there she is. He's choking him. Back and forth, Pimpinella with the odds stacked against him now. Son of Havoc, long Irish whip, reversal by Pimpinella. Here comes Pimpy, up and over. Oh! Ooh. Liza might have busted a bursa sack there. Brother, big accident, things happen, it is pro wrestling. She is not giving him a second to breathe, but Pimpy's hurt. Arm, shoulder, elbow, I don't know, man, but this is gonna take its toll, no doubt about it. Oh, look at that. Oh, the athleticism of Son of Havoc. And now just some lack of professionalism, brother. Forget about doing that kind of stuff. You know, focus on winning the match. Brother, be a pro. Right by the hero there as Pimpanella Escalarta with minimal movement now back in the ring. Son of Havoc seems to be firmly in control. Son of Havoc, proud of his colors, proud of his road name, part of the one percenters. Whoa! Shades of Great Muda, perhaps. Havoc on the move now, uses the wow. rock for the springboard. This is the cross body block. Rolls all the way to the other side of the ring. 
Brother Pimpy is hurt. That shoulder, look at that, he can't, but he's not giving up the fight. He's a warrior. Uh oh. It's a flip rolling. Can't get bit by a uh, down, though. Be careful. Somebody Eber might lose an eye. A bit of assistance. Roll through. Shoulders are down. Two. He. No, is that just two? Rick Knox says. Brother Pimpy is hurting. Yeah. Perhaps a separated shoulder there based on the way the arm is hanging. Oh, of course, Havoc grabs that arm. Yeah, there you go. But Pimpy's not giving up, brother. And one for Ivelisse as well. Why not? Hey, that's Mascarita Sagrada. That is the quote unquote half a man that Son of Havoc referred to earlier tonight. Evening up the odds. Wow. Through the legs. Let the carnival begin. This is my kind of party. The and kiss. The kiss. Pippi just the laid one on Son of one, Havoc. Two. Got him. Yes. the winner. You gotta pay attention here in the Lucha Underground. You don't know what's gonna happen anytime, any place, anywhere, Matt. It's unpredictable. Vamp, I don't know about you, but it's time to get up and dance. Congratulations, Pimpanea! to knock me down, I will always get up. Sure. Every time I get up, my mission is simple. Find you, kick your ass, starting now. Wait, it, it doesn't have to be this way. I can make things right. The problem, problem is, Quito, things haven't been right since you gave away my 100 grand. Wait, 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 wait. If I can get you 100K, I promise, in cash. But Hermie, me, you get nothing. OK, Quito. What the hell are you doing? I'm getting some insurance. Santino Brothers, certainly a hometown crowd favorite. Hollywood only a few miles away, right? Yeah, actually, it's up the 101, three exits, and you're in Hollywood and Boulevard. his opponent, accompanied by Katrina. From beyond the grave, Mil Muertes. There you see Mil Muertes, whose name translates to a thousand deaths, and Katrina. Now, you are starting to... Uh, Fix an eye on Katrina, are you not? No, not at all, brother. I am here 100% focused on this man, and I'm telling you right now, I am a fan. Just look at him, intense, ready to come and do damage. Mil Muertes is thinking about one thing and one thing only tonight. Como se va a matar Famous B? How is he going to kill, destroy, maim, or leave this boy on the floor? There you see the believers in the temple, and you can just feel the chill in the air. Something changes when Mil Muertes makes his way to the ring. Brother, he is just vicious. And now, before every Mil Muertes match, Mil will kneel upon this symbol. Some speculate that there is some type of strength here. Well, I'm speculating something different. She has some kind of power and some kind of agenda. Anytime that a beast like Mil Muertes gets down on a woman's feet, you know for a fact there's something else going on, Matt. Brother, as she takes that off, he is thinking one thing. How am I going to kill that guy who's in front of me? Senior official Marty Elias asks Famous B if he is ready. Glares over at Mil Muertes. And oh, ring the bell, here we go. Doesn't even care, brother. Just stomp him. Oh, yeah. Brother, Mil Muertes means business. Oh, jeez. Mil Muertes now clutches the head and chin of Famous B. Mil bringing over Famous B almost as a sacrifice. Ooh, that's different. 
Normally you'll see someone smash the face. I like that. That's different. The back of the neck, the back of the head. Real Morphus is evil, dude. Brother, the ring shook. The ring shook. Oh, man. Oh. Again, the focus on the back of the head. Brother, I love him, man. Wow, look at, he's like, look at him, he's like a bull. Like, he's like a bull, he's like a bull. Oh! Wow. Jesus. Oh my God. Normally, Emil goes for a cover and ends the match, but now, here we go. The IV is pulled out of the vein. It's time for the Flatliner. Oh my God. I certainly hope that guy's got no dental work. another sacrifice to the altar of death. Bill Muerte is victorious, and now this is becoming... Wow, what's going on? Hey, brother, this is new. <laughs> oh. The lick of death signifies another victory for Bill Muerte. Coming up tonight, we have a rematch between Drago and King Cuerno. Now, if you recall, last week, Cuerno attacked Drago after their match, and Drago is looking for revenge. Drago is an interesting dude. How about we learn just a little bit more from the man from the Inframundo? What do you know about dragons? The history books say they were protectors. They say they could fly, and they destroy everything in their path. In their time, they ruled the earth and struck fear in the hearts of the bravest men. Time was not kind to the dragon. They had to adapt and were thought to be extinct. But then one arose as a man. What do you fear? The man or the dragon? The following Lucha is scheduled for one fall. saw Drago, he was flat on his back, courtesy of his opponent tonight. And his opponent, coming from the highlands of Guerrero, Mexico, King Cuerno. And there he is, emerging from the forests of Azure, King Cuerno, who has stalked Drago ever since Drago defeated Cuerno in Cuerno's debut match likes the sadistic part of losing, maybe even getting in a tie, pacing himself, and he almost likes the hunt. He likes to see physical and psychological damage. King Cuerno's debut was spoiled by Drago, and many people feel that that may fuel Cuerno's desire, but you touched on an interesting point, how the entire Lucha Underground almost becomes like the plains, and King Cuerno is the master hunter, and everyone is prey. Well, look at him stalking, and as you well remember, last week he was perched above us, and he was paying quite attention to this young man, Drago. But you can see it right before the bell even rings, Matt. The crowd is into it. The crowd is behind Drago, and we are in for some excitement and violence. Here we go. A journey through the Savage Guard. The pace of this match will almost remind you of, of watching a lion kill a gazelle. It doesn't happen so fast. It's a slow, drawn-out, painful... It's almost like in Muay Thai, when you do know, before the, the, the combat, people do the dance, and they, it's a message being sent. Oh. 
Drago now has to use his speed and unique offense. Wow, here we go. Look at how quick he is. Up. Oh. Springboard in. Rana, Frankensteiner, call it what you will. Drago now using the ropes momentum. Off the ropes. Cuero, hip toss back through. Drago using agility. Cuero up now, double knees oh to the chest. God. Knocked out, brother. And as you can see, the crowd is watching with intensity. This is a crowd that is well versed and well educated in Lucha Libre. They are watching to see who's going to get the upper hand off the bat here. Well, the double knees to the chest, compounded by the chops to the oh. chest. Now the kick to the stomach. Yeah, I like that. Doesn't take a genius to realize. Makes it hard for Drago to breathe. Drago on the move. Cuerno drops down, forcing Drago to change his wow. footing, and then the drop kick. Now Cuerno coming in. Cover here, still not enough. Drago gets his shoulder off, throws a vamp. Is this the girl you keep leaving tickets for, man? Brother, she is so hot. I don't know who that is, but damn. <laughs> Vamp's creepiness aside. Drago in now. Great catch there by Cuerno, showing his power. Fireman's counter position. Notice placement of Drago's hand for support. Drago pushes off. Ooh, nice kick to the knee. Drago now off the ropes. Kick to the head of Cuerno. And Cuerno is stunned. Drago perched. Cuerno now, the hunter becomes the hunted. Drago! Wow! Wow, and Matt, the crowd is on his feet, but look at on the stairs. Who is that? She is just looking intently, and as quickly as she came, there she goes. Drago gets Cuerno back into the ring. This kind of match, Matt. This is almost like Japan, where the crowd is respectful of the violence. They are paying attention. This is an intense match. Wow, nice. Modified blockbuster. Drago floats over. Referee down. Two. Not enough. This is so fresh. Cuerno grabs the referee, but Justin Borden wow. doesn't signal for the disqualification. Smart. Very mature. Very smart. Taking his time, stalking. Recuperating, rethinking his next assault. Awesome. Cuerno using his environment, and if that involves the referee, so be it. But Drago, wow, Firefly! Crazy. Crazy. Suicidal, brother. Do not try that at home. The pace of this match conducive because all of the punishment really starts to wear on you. The lactic acid builds up when your opponent just leaves you to wallow in your pain. Drago defeated Cuerno in Cuerno's debut. And Cuerno certainly smartened up. He felt that again, and he said, nope. Oh, oh man. Dude. Whoa. Sing it. Whoa. That is a message that has been sent, and it says, you are mine, and you are done. Like a bullet out of a hunter's elephant gun, the suicide dive by Cuerno rolls Drago back into the ring. Brother, look at that, taking his time. He's playing with him. Cuerno is just setting them up for certain death, brother. Here we go. We saw this move last week. Oh, yeah. Oh, the thrill of the hunt. Look at that. One, two, he got him. These two men are tied, one match apiece. that Cuerno has sent a message to the world of Lucha Libre, especially here in the Lucha Libre underground. I have dominated, and I am here, and I want a bigger target. The fight has just begun. It's almost like it was a sacrifice to somebody. The hunter stalks his prey here on Lucha Underground. Still to come, our main event, Sexy Star and Phoenix team to face Pentagon Jr. and Chavo Guerrero. Matt, I could smell the violence in the air. Keep it right here on Lucha Underground.
before we get to the main event of the evening, Gary Oquato owes me $100,000. Looks like Johnny has El Jefe's key. And I'm going to give him to the count of 10 to get his little weaselly ass out here to pay up. He must think he's pretty important if he thinks Cueto is going to give him $100,000 for it. One, two, three, four, five. Johnny Mondo, why don't you shut the hell up? Why don't you just shut up? That ring you're standing in belongs to me. And unless you want to go through another table, I suggest you get the hell out of my ring right now. If not, whoa! Johnny's not leaving until he gets his money, brother. That's what this is all about. But Big Rick better be careful what he asks for because he just got a knuckle sandwich. And this is all about the $100,000 that Dario Cueto promised to the luchador that impressed the most on our debut episode. Everyone thought that Johnny Mundo earned the $100,000, and then Big Rick and his crew stepped in. You hear that, Cueto? Six, seven, eight, hold on, hold on. Understand this, that in this ring, you owe that money to Puma. Yes, because of you, he's been the target of attacks. And last week, you crossed the line. And because of that, he no longer is going to have your back. Oh, 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 the legend Conan was talking. Big Rick took advantage of Johnny Mundo's back being turned. And there's Prince Puma. Wow, after all the times Conan warned Puma not to get involved. Springboard drop kick. Puma ignores Conan's. I like that. I would never listen to Conan under any circumstances. He's a snake, and Puma is right to question him. Big double drop kick. For weeks, Johnny and Puma have been on the same page. Many people feel that these two should split the $100,000. Last week, Johnny cost him the match. It was an accident. We saw it. Puma, I'm not sure what he's feeling, and I can tell you right now, Conan has been in his ear, and he's been planting a poisonous seed, Matt. Well, let's see. Perhaps the story unfolds right now. Wow. Here we go. Puma fires first, and the two trade punches back and forth. Nice double leg takedown by Johnny Mundo. You have to ask yourself, is this all part of our owner Dario Cueto's manipulative plan to turn these two guys against each other? You gotta remember, Conan is back there too, and if I know him, I'm sure he's got his fingers in the pie manipulating everything he can. Well, I mean, obviously this isn't a scheduled match. You see a lot of Lucha Underground officials and security pulling apart. These are our, our two arguably the most valuable luchadors here in Lucha Underground. And honestly, if they're gonna have a match, there should be a contract signed and, and money should be involved. Wow, brother, and the fury, look at that. Johnny Mundo does not care about the size of these security guards. He's in there and he's wrecking havoc. He wants to stop Puma through the floor. Puma's usually let them fight in Spanish. Let them fight, man. Decalos equals a supreme humanity. Oh, that I understood. There's the boss. There's the man who started all of this. Dario Cueto, our owner. Johnny! I got your hundred thousand dollars, Johnny! I have it here! Johnny! This bonus was supposed to be Big Rick's signing bonus. But Rick didn't read the fine print. He has to earn this bonus. This week, I'm gonna hug up this money from the rafters of my roof because we're having a $100,000 ladder match! Whoa! Huge news, bombshell, social media, dirt sheet quality from Dario Cueto. A three-way ladder match for $100,000. These guys are gonna have to climb the ladder and retrieve the money. Matt, if Big Rick gets his hands on the ladder, there will be a mound of broken bodies here in Lucha Underground. And still to come tonight, our main event and revenge is a dish 
best serve cold, Sexy Star and Phoenix team up against Chavo Guerrero and Pentagon Jr. Don't you dare move a muscle because Lucha Underground will be right back and you don't want to miss this. underground locker room and he does not care chavo guerrero as we say has gone into business for himself man and all of mexico people are gunning for him for his actions against the great legendary blue demon jr who by the way has sent message that he is on the mend he is training and he is on his way back and chavo Watch over your shoulder, brother, because Blue Demon is coming to get you. That's right. The ominous message was given to Chavo that all of Mexico will be coming for him. I don't know about you, but that scares me. And his partner, Pentagon Jr. And last week, we saw Pentagon Jr. coming to Chavo's aid, and it's almost as if, if Chavo's the most hated man, both in the locker room as well as here in the ring, Chavo's going to have to have as many friends as he can, and Pentagon probably has ulterior motives, but either way, Pentagon has aligned himself with Chavo Guerrero. But did you see Pentagon came in the ring and he didn't even look at Chavo? Didn't even give him the time of day. I I'm speculating that there isn't too much camaraderie here. And their opponents from Monterrey, Nuevo León, Mexico, she is sexy star. The shot heard round the Lucha Libre world. Chavo Guerrero turned on Blue Demon Jr. with a steel chair. It was Sexy Star, the first one out of the locker room, showing bravery and pride, coming to the aid of Blue Demon. And what did Sexy get for that? A steel chair across her head, courtesy of the hands of Chavo Guerrero. The story continued because last week, Sexy Star seemingly had her redemption in her hands, but Pentagon Jr. took the opportunity away. Sexy Star is seeking revenge. And her partner from Mexico City, Mexico, Phoenix! Brother, we got an interesting match here because there is some beef between everybody. Obviously, Pentagon Jr. and Phoenix got a story, but Chavo has got a bone to pick with Sexy Star or vice versa, and I'm not sure what's going to happen here. It certainly is going to be exciting to watch, though, man. This is a, uh, a mixed tag match, but the rules are simple. One fall to a finish. Sexy Star can wrestle against anyone whom she pleases, and on the flip side, the men can wrestle Sexy Star. Keep that in mind as far as the power advantage But goes. are you feeling this, though, that not, nobody's even making eye contact with their partners? It's just like a lot of hatred in this ring right now. I'm noticing that Chavo's the first one to retreat to the apron to allow Pentagon to start the match. Wow. Here we go. That was very wise. Phoenix does not trust Chavo nor Pentagon. Whoa. Sexy and, Star is not letting Chavo out of her sight. Yeah, Sexy has the beef with Chavo after the... Wow. Oh. After Chavo hits Sexy with a chair. And here we go. Back to the ring. Chavo just knocked out of the park. Hey, listen, it's, it's like a fair game Bond's here. Home run. It's all fair game here. Wow. And that leaves Phoenix and Pentagon, Pentagon Jr. Jr. No respect, no love. A lot of animosity, a lot of issues the past few weeks between these two. Once they get going, I'll do my best to keep you abreast and call the action. Here we go. Bump creates space. Phoenix on the move, uses the ropes for momentum. Flip, catch, Whoa. Rana. 
Pentagon wisely rolls out of the ring to regroup, and now Chavo is telling Pentagon Jr., I got this. Chavo Guerrero methodically slowly getting into the ring. Chavo saying, brother, pay attention to the match. And, and say what you want about Chavo Guerrero. He's an excellent wrestler, a great bat-based technician, as is evident right there. Around the world to the snapmare. Now the rear chin lock. The place where wow. Chavo's body oh, yeah, makes it very it. difficult to breathe. Chavo now with the left side headlock. Phoenix pushes Chavo off. Drop down, forces your opponent to change his wow. steps. Followed up with a drop kick. Well, that was more than a drop kick. That was like hitting a brick wall. Sexy. And now revenge is sweet. Sexy star just pulling no punches, putting the boots to Chavo. Chavo's reeling and rocking, but Ooh. he just says, hey, man. <laughs> hey, it's all legal. Hey, I know the sympathy is there for Sexy wow. Star, but wow. You think that Sexy might have bit off just a little bit more than you can do with Chavo? You gotta hand it to her, though. And the fans letting Chavo know what they think of him. Saying culero at the top of their lungs, brother. Chavo now pulling on Sexy Star by the back of her hair. Wow. Chavo working Sexy Star over in the corner, man. Chavo tags in Pentagon Jr. and Sexy Star needs to move the fight closer to her corner as she's gonna have a chance to tag Phoenix in. Hey, you'll forgive my silence, but I, I, again, Sexy Star asked for this. Yeah, but at the same time, I just kinda wanna get up and help her out, brother. That's a little bit too much, man. Well, that's very chivalrous of you. I can appreciate her heart and her being a warrior from Mexico, but come on, man, taking on two men, you're getting your ass whooped. We gotta do something, man. Sexy Star asked for this because Sexy Star will do anything to get a piece of Chavo Guerrero. Wow. Well, here comes Sexy. Makes the tag. Phoenix on his way in. Miss, roll through, takes care of Pentagon. Duck Chavo's line, kick. For a second, spinning back kick right to the face. Oh, Pentagon slowing Phoenix down and Chavo taking advantage. Spun him around like a doll. Oof. Oh, yeah. Come on, Chavo, fire up. Uh, I've noticed you're not going to see a lot of wrestling, per se, out of Chavo, just more fighting. This is a new, darker Chavo Guerrero. Did you see that uppercut reminiscence of the great Dory Funk? Brother, that's something you don't see too much anymore. I love that. This will be knocks his head off with it, though. Matt, you can see the combination of unorthodox styles here. Nobody's really on the same page, but everybody has the same goal. Inflict damage, but who's gonna win this match? Again, Phoenix, oh, Jesus. Phoenix tried to use his agility, but Pentagon used the power, countering with the power bomb. Cover here, one, two, no, kick out. Sexy Star now reaching out for the tag. She wants so badly to get back in there. Oh, man, brother, he just took his larynx out. Chavo's saying, hold him, hold him, hold him, hold him. Oh, wow. It's almost as if Phoenix is doing the valiant thing here by taking the beating for Sexy Star, although Sexy will never ask Phoenix to do that. Well, I don't think it's a choice, man. I really appreciate your point, man, but I think that these guys are just giving you a beating, old school style, and I like that. Sorry to say. Front chancery, referee Marty Elias should check if the forearm doesn't slip underneath the chin. It turns into a choke. That's why Chavo positions his body in front of the referee there. Of course he did that, Matt. I've been trying to tell you this all along. Chavo is a snake. He's a bastard, just like his old man was. Bang! Crazy standing drop kick. Oh, my God. Beautifully done. Chavo Guerrero has Phoenix down. Cover. Two. Or Lucha. It's as if Chavo is enjoying this beating. Chavo's sadistic, and he's like, I told you, man, he's got a chip on his shoulder, brother. And the intensity of Sexy Star is infectious as she is desperate for a tag, reaches out for Phoenix. Sexy wants to help her partner and hurt Chavo. 
Well, you can see the experience. He's starting to play with Phoenix. Phoenix is almost worn out. All that high flying, sometimes they're going to get you too far, brother. And Chavo has certainly taken him down a peg. Well, Phoenix's name derives from the mythological bird that rose from the ashes. Can Phoenix rise from the fire? Wow! Handspring into a cutter. Chavo stayed in the ring, very wise. Ducks the kick, gets caught with one, though. And now, the only reprieve is Sexy Star. And here we go. Sexy's finally got her man. Wow. Fired up, Damn. kicks, punches, elbows. And she is just stomping a new mud hole in Chavo's body. Tilt the world head scissor. Sexy Star with a boot for Chavo. And this is really what Sexy wants. Sexy wants revenge on Chavo Guerrero. This is for every little girl that was told, no, you can't play with us, or no girls allowed. That's who Sexy's fighting for. Ooh. Damn, that's the experience of Chavo Guerrero, brother. Aside from a chip on the shoulder, he... Hang on. What's going on here? Oh! Nicely done! Crazy. All four warriors down. The count is on. There you go. Listen to the crowd. The athleticism of the luchadors, the tenacity of Sexy Star. This is what Lucha Underground is all about. Whoa. Great tilt to world DDT by the talented Sexy Star. Go Keep your eyes top. on Sexy now. And the crowd on their feet, Matt, and the crowd is oh. by Sexy Star. What does it say about a woman willing to do that? Listen to the crowd, listen to the crowd. Lucha, Lucha. Only here in the Lucha Underground you can see that, man. Sexy Star may have sacrificed her rib cage there on those stone steps. Phoenix dumps Chavo to the outside. And now, Phoenix, the bird of war, will fly! <laughs> sexy took a little shot, too. Well, Sexy took a huge shot, brother. Oh, my God. All of Phoenix's body used as a weapon from his heels all the way to the top of his head. Brother, forget that. Did you see the way that he bounced on the top of that rope? Warrior. Suicidal. This is your main event here on Lucha Underground. Sexy Star in Phoenix versus Pentagon Jr. and the man who took out Blue Demon in the ring now, Chavo Guerrero. Chavo is definitely hurt, brother. Keep your eyes on the ring. Oh, wow. Chavo caught Sexy off the crossbody. Chavo using his power. Oh, brother, Sexy just got her head rocked. Not good, dude. And now, is this necessary? The no. five-star frog splash, the homage to Eddie Guerrero. Phoenix saw it coming. Wow. That is a bump and a half. Sexy on the move now. Rolls through. What is this? Easy driver, perhaps, from Pentagon? Oh, my God. Oh, my Ooh. God. Oh. Oh! Sexy oh. Flip power bomb. Could this be it? Phoenix lets Chavo know, hey, man, I got you, brother. Phoenix perched high. Oh! Brother, oh, my God. Oh, my God. One, two, three. And the winner, Sexy Star and Phoenix. Phoenix and Sexy Star working very well together. Vamp your thoughts. I think that any time you're gonna drop your knees from 20 feet in the air into somebody's head through the mat, I'm telling you right now, I love that Lucha Underground, only on the L Ray Network. This is Lucha Libre. Sexy and Phoenix get the proverbial W tonight, but Sexy Star still seeks revenge on Chavo Guerrero. And Chavo will have to answer for what he did to her and the demon. We hope you're enjoying your holiday season. Be with us here next week when we will have a $100,000 ladder match. You'll only see it here on the El Rey Network and Lucha Underground for Vampire Armat Striker. Good night, everybody.